The Uganda Wildlife Authority says the child belonged to one of their staff members at the Queen Elizabeth National Park. The toddler had been left in the care of a nanny when she was taken by the leopard. The maid uh, went out to, to go to the kitchen and then uh, of course the maid didn't know the kid was following. So in the process as the kid was getting out also, I think she was at, on a veranda and then the maid had an alarm. So when she moved out, she saw a leopard disappearing with the kid. The Queen Elizabeth National Park is one of the largest in Uganda with most animals and highest visitor numbers. Wildlife authorities say they are shocked by the incident since many of the animals in the park are accustomed to human interaction. It's colored, so you can, we can trace it slowly, slowly until we get it. It can hide, but it cannot hide forever. So at some point we need to get it because it is a danger in that area now. You can't be sure it won't eat other people or to injure, to put other people's lives at stake. So we need to get it and either remove it, and uh, depending on how the operation goes. But, but of course you cannot, rule it, you cannot rule out to putting it out of action if it turns out to be a danger. Because human life of course comes first. Rangers are continuing their hunt for the leopard and it will be relocated when it's captured. Isabel Nakiria, CGTN, Kampala.